Uh, Mr. Bell announced a $52 million expansion of his brewery operations. He gave a tour of the facility to the Bayview team this spring as construction was just getting underway. Uh, three, years ago, uh, three years ago, when a U.S. brewery was purchased by a foreign company, they canceled all their sponsorships. Mr. Bell was the first to come forward as a replacement sponsor here at Bayview. He increased his stake in the race last year, and this year, as they say, well, he's all in. He's the uh, title sponsor and the GPS tracking sponsor. It's a great honor to in introduce you to a shining star in Michigan who's created hundreds of jobs and is putting Michigan on the map for world-class beers. An intelligent, well-read man, the founder of what is now the largest brewery in Michigan, as, as the Commodore mentioned, and I think you're ranked 15th and growing fast, Mr. Larry Bell. Thank you, Bruce. Good morning, everybody. Welcome today. Um, I can't tell you just uh, how absolutely thrilled I am to be the title sponsor for this year's uh, Bell's Beer Bayview Mackinac race. Uh, this is our th only our third year being associated with the race. Uh, when the opportunity came to be a beer sponsor, I, I jumped at it. I al I've always had a lot of respect for this race and, uh, you know, uh, was hoping that someday uh, that we could be associated with it. So it was a lot of fun uh, to, to jump on board uh, uh, with, with this group. Bells had uh, been a sponsor of a smaller sailboat race up out of Mackinac Island, uh, the Mackinac to Manitoulin race in Canada, uh, as a way to try and help promote um, tourism on Mackinac Island. I think this one's got a little bit uh, on that race, not to discredit that race. It's a fun race too, and I got to sail up in the North Channel there with uh, the Commodore of the Mackinac Island Yacht Club. But uh, this race is truly one of the, the iconic sports of the state of Michigan. And uh, I think it's, it's so great because it goes out and it celebrates our greatest resource, uh, which is our water and, and the Great Lakes. And it's funny, with my job, I, I wind up in Colorado uh, a fair amount for festivals and whatnot. And invariably, some young guy comes up to me and goes, dude, how can you how can you live without the mountains? It's like, well, dude, how can you live without the water? Uh, you know, uh, and, you know, this is you know the water that we have here. I think really represents the spirit of the people that live in Michigan. And this race goes out and really celebrates uh, that water. Uh, <clears throat> I think with sailing, there's there is uh, the word was used earlier, the camaraderie that goes with with sailing. And in just thinking about that, uh, where that camaraderie comes from. You could call it danger, or maybe it's vulnerability, being out uh, on a big body of water. Uh, I think it, it's a great equalizer, and anybody that's ever been out on a large body of water in bad weather knows how vulnerable you feel and how little you feel out there. And I think that brings people together in this sport, uh, and, and in Harbor it brings a great uh, conviviality together, and of course, conviviality in beer, we like that uh, association. Um, <coughs> I was thinking 87 years, so I guess it was Prohibition when the race started. And, you know, I guess I, you think about boats and the border here and alcohol. I don't, well, we won't go there today. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, this is one of the great, uh, it's one of the great sailboat races of the world. Uh, I think when you put this uh, together with uh, Chicago, that's, that's what brings so many people here. Uh, to, to celebrate uh, in the Great Lakes. Uh, and this is, our sponsorship here is part of our growing t tradition of sponsoring great quiet sports events, I might call them. Uh, we're also involved in a lot of arts and cultural activities and uh, as well as the sponsorship of many youth organizations. Um, I do want to stress that, uh, that Bell's, uh, well, we, we like to sponsor boating we like to encourage responsible boating out there. Uh, it's great to be out there, but uh, I think uh, it's best to have our beer when we get into harbor and, uh, and make sure that we all have a safe time when we're out enjoying uh, our boats in the water. Again, I'm absolutely thrilled that we can be part of this, and I want to wish all the participants the best of luck and good times out there. Thank you. with you a quick quick story uh, last fall I was traveling in Europe 
had a quick stopover in Brussels, Belgium. Our friend said, when you're in Brussels, you got to have a pot of mussels and a good Belgian beer. So I did that, and I ordered a Bell's beer. And the guy was very polite. He said, sir, we have all these fine Belgian beers, but we don't serve Bell's beer here. He said, around the corner in the plaza, which dates back to 1600, there is the Temple of Beer. And he says, they serve over 550 beers there from around the world, and you might be able to get a Bell's beer there. So I went over to the Temple of Beer, and this is uh, what I found after traveling all that great distance. Larry, would you mind holding that for a second? The Temple of Beer, there's 550 beers. He said, close, ran out of bells. <laughs> Bruce, thank, thank you, Bruce. <laughs> Larry, Larry actually tells me that they, they're bootlegging uh, some well, of your beers serious. overseas. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you very much, Larry, and thank you for being our sponsor. <laughs>